what's going on guys killer six back with another borderlands 3 video for you and we're taking another look at another legendary item here and this one is the Lauda. this one will be familiar to all you guys from borderlands 2 because this thing always wrecked face on borderlands 2 and it's back in borderlands 3 and it looks dope as hell look at this reskin on this thing gold and like purple trim and some flower stuff on there. I don't even know how to describe that, but it looks badass. It's got these dope ass rails on there. Almost looks like a rail gun. Uh, but yeah, this thing is an absolute beast as it was on Borderlands 2. All right, so the version that I got is the Vicious Lauda. Yours might be completely different. And uh, the damage on mine is 1,296, accuracy 86%, handling 37%, reload time 4.1 seconds, fire rate 6.31 per second, mag size of 16. The red text says man killer. Now this is uh, the gun in the red text are a reference to uh, Soviet uh, sniper Leudmila Pavlichenko. I hope I said that even remotely close to right. I do not mean any disrespect. Uh, with 309 confirmed kills during World War II, she was one of the most successful female snipers in history. And um, this gun is a derivative of her name, essentially. So, what is it about this gun that's so good? What is it about this gun that everybody loves? Well, let's take it into the Proving Grounds, and I'll give you a kind of a rough idea. So, let's get our uh, clone out here, and we're just going to watch him do work. How about that? I'm just going to stand here and watch him. Now, granted, he's uh, shooting from, like, two feet away. That's not really an ideal situation for him. Let's bring him back here. Come back here, clone. Come back here. There you go. Now you can do a little bit more work. Well, you know, these, these enemies aren't cooperating. Let's let's do some work ourselves. Oh, God. Something just exploded right in my face there. Not cool, bro. All right, what we got here? Well, we need some bigger enemies. We need some bigger enemies so you guys can better feel. As you can see, I just absolutely melted that dude. Melted that dude. The main problem with the uh, the Lyud Mila has always been ammo consumption. This thing goes through the ammo like crazy. There's no two ways about it. You will use a lot of ammo when you shoot this gun, even if you're accurate. Uh, so you're going to constantly have to be looking for um, ammo pickups as you use this gun. Bring our clone back over there and we'll keep some distance here. But yeah, as you can see, just like in Borderlands 2, this gun melts through enemies. There's a, uh, there's a reason why this gun is always so highly sought after. Uh, the good news is on Borderlands 3, I know exactly how to get this item for you. Sort of. <laughs> it's kind of complicated. And it does involve uh, you having to go through a good bit of stuff to get it. And even when you get it, I don't think there's another way to get another one until you go through, like, True Vault Hunter mode. So, how I got mine is by doing uh, the hunt missions for Zero, where you hunt down um, targets, you know, bounty targets. Um, after you complete all of those, after you get all of the bounties done, Zero sends you this gun via a social mail. If, you, if you're not familiar with the social mail system yet, I have a video on that. But as you can see, you get sent things from like different manufacturers as you complete challenges. And uh, as you can see here, I got a butcher. <laughs> I got this one from Jolts, dude. <laughs> that was nice of him to send me that. Thank you, Jolts. So that'll be in the video. All right, cool. <laughs> we'll test that one out. Um, but yeah, so once you complete all the, uh, the hunt missions for Zero, he will send you an email. That said, what I would recommend is hitting level 50 in normal mode. I know that sounds crazy, but in Borderlands 3, it's fully acceptable and possible by doing side missions and proving grounds and things like that to hit level 50 in normal mode. And the reason that I would also recommend doing that is so that all of your gear, when you go into True Vault Hunter mode, when you get new gear in True Vault Hunter mode, it's all going to be level 50 gear. So uh, definitely would recommend that. So... Is this gun worth getting? A thousand percent yes. Look at this thing, man. <laughs> like, it's like easy mode. Honestly, it's like easy mode with this gun. It's pinpoint accurate. Um, as you can see, the bullets come out in like a little bit of a spread, but I mean, generally you're not going to be, you know, having any issues putting all of those on target. Uh, for example, let's uh, hit this dude. All the bullets are hitting him, you know? Even from that far away, with that small of a target, I'm still putting all the bullets on his face. So, 
this this gun is easily worth it uh possibly again one of the best snipers in this game just like it was in borderlands 2 and uh it wrecks face guys it wrecks face so let me know down in the comment section below are you looking forward to using this gun are you looking forward to, to getting your own uh let me know what uh, variants you guys got and uh if you can tell what kind of bonuses you got from that variant i'd be interested to see that in the comment section below as well Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could, take a second to hit that like button. Hit subscribe for more. Tap the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video because there's lots and lots and lots more coming. And I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a great day.